In this video, I will share some cool insights into an old Lake Superior beach preserved at Agawa Bay Campground in Lake Superior Provincial Park. I will use a cartoon as a roadmap as we take a walk from the edge of Lake Superior across the present day beach and then across two older beaches that now lie high and dry above the water level of the present day Lake Superior. That is where the campsites are located. Enjoy. Well, good morning from uh, Agawa Bay in Lake Superior Provincial Park. It's June 5. Moving a little further west uh, today. Beautiful day to travel. It was a bit chilly last night, about plus three on my local thermometer. And uh, Lake Superior is very calm and well behaved this morning. To help us identify some subtle geological features developed on the Agawa Bay Beach, I will use this very simple cartoon as a road map to illustrate the beach features. As you walk away from Lake Superior towards the land, you will cross a zone of active wave wash, a zone where summer storms modify the beach, a zone where winter storms modify the beach, and two old terraces where the present day campsites are located. Low mounds or hills of sand called berms separate some of these beach features. Okay, with this context, let's check the beach to see what these features actually look like. Let's start at the top end of the beach. Here, an old terrace with a berm that likely represents the winter storm berm is vegetated by American marum grass and sand cherry. This vegetation stabilizes the old terrace and keeps the sand from being blown away or washed away. move closer to the water. There are a series of sandy zones which would have been a very high water in modern terms, modern context, high water zone. And then the material gets coarser grained. I'm standing here on could have been a bar at higher higher water levels, but probably just the modern day storm, uh, storm beach. So it's sort of like a, a worm-like structure that runs oh, about two or three meters from the water, current water edge. And then between it and the lake itself, much coarser grained uh, gravel. This is the active zone where waves are constantly washing. It's wet because it's been washed by uh, by waves during the day. And that's removed all of the fine green sand and left centimeter size uh, pebbles, well rounded because uh, the movement of the water, of course, removes the sharpened edges and rounds the pebbles. And then you're at the lake. Moving away from the open beach area, the land is sandy, flat, and vegetated by trees. The access road and a row of campsites closest to Lake Superior is located on this flat, sandy land. This is likely an old terrace. A long time ago, it was an old lake bottom that formed when the level of Lake Superior was a little higher. In other words, you are likely standing on land that was once submerged beneath Lake Superior water. Finally, Let's move farther away from Lake Superior, across the campground, towards a prominent one meter tall ridge or berm. And then right in front of me is another old beach line. This we would call a raised beach, because it's high and dry right now. But it, uh, it was a beach a long time ago. We'll just walk our way up. It's uh, balsam, spruce, shoe pine, lots of Clintonia borealis, blue bead lily growing on the ground. Now we're climbing up to the beach, the old beach line. And now we're on another terrace that would have been at one time covered by water a few
few thousand years ago. An ideal place for campgrounds, campsites. So that kind of gives you a cross section of what the beach and the shoreline looks like here at Agawa Bay Campground. So this has been a quick tour across the present day beach and campground at Agawa Bay. What I just provided is a very simple explanation. Other people will likely offer different interpretations and use different words to describe this ancient Lake Superior shoreline. If you ever get to Agawa Bay, take a look and see if you recognize the old beaches where the campsites are now located. Now it's time to move on to Nays Provincial Park, a short drive to the west. Thank you for watching the video. See you later.